Hi everyone! Welcome to my next DIY embellishment for Valentine's Day. Today I'll be making crepe paper hearts, as you can see in my hand. These are really simple to make, so let's get started. What you'll be needing are the following. Crepe paper streamers. I have pink and white. I like these colors because they're very appropriate for Valentine's Day. A pair of scissors, a tiny heart punch, and a circle punch. It's also pretty small for that circle punch. You'll need a scrap piece of paper and a pattern sheet of paper for the hearts. I picked a gold foiled pattern piece of paper. So the first thing you'll need is a strip of the streamer. I cut approximately 12 inches off. You'll notice in a little bit that you probably don't need all 12 inches, but I rather have more than not enough. I want to make both white ones and pink ones. So once you have your streamers cut, I like to cut mine in half. You don't necessarily have to cut yours in half, but I don't want my rosettes to be that big. So if you want them smaller, you just cut them down or you can use the whole thing as is. I like to cut mine roughly in half down the middle. Now you'll be needing a scrap piece of paper and your little circle punch. I'm planning to make three, so I punched out three little circles. This will be the base of your rosette. I like to also prepare the rest of the pieces of the embellishment ahead of time. So I'm taking my heart punch and punching out tiny little hearts out of the pattern paper. Now that I have all the pieces ready, first I need to take my little circle. I'll add a bit of hot glue right on top. And then I take a strip of crepe paper and on one side of it, I lay it into the hot glue portion of the circle and fold and ruffle the crepe paper around the circle punch. On one end, I am fanning it out so that it makes a rosette shape. And in the center, I am making sure that I am contacting the glue so that it holds the rosette in place. There's going to be a little extra when I reach the other end of my crepe paper. So I just take my pair of scissors and just cut off the excess. I get a little more hot glue to attach the tail end of it. And then I also use that same hot glue to add the heart right in the center of crepe paper rosette. And there you have it, a crepe paper heart. As you can tell, my rosette is not perfect. It's a little rough on the edges. So what I like to end up doing is taking my pair of scissors and just trimming off the edges that I think are a little rough to make it a little more circular. You can definitely consider using other types of adhesive, like craft glue or a double-sided tape but I really like using the hot glue gun because it grabs onto the crepe paper really easily and it dries very quickly so it does not move. I also really enjoy using crepe paper in my embellishments because it's easy to use and it's easy to get. You can pick them up at any party store or the dollar store and it adds a lot of texture and dimension to my embellishments. Now that I made another rosette, I thought it'd be fun to not just cut the crepe paper rosette into a circle. I would trim around the heart and shape it like a heart. So it's a heart-shaped rosette. I think these turn out a lot cuter than just a circle rosette. I hope you like my DIY embellishment video for these crepe paper hearts. Please subscribe to my channel if you want to be notified when my next DIY embellishment video goes up. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them below. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you like my video. Hope you have a crafty day.